Okay, so now I'm going to show you the NetExpert XG Plus, which basically means we have two units of the NetExpert. Okay, they are both licensed for 10G. Okay, we also have some SFPs that softing uh, cells, and these are known SFPs. In other words, we know exactly what they do and what they cannot do, um, and they are 10 gig or SFP Plus. Okay, we also have our inspection scope. And we have a number of fiber links here that we are going to be able to test. So let's go ahead and load the SFPs into the bay. And I've gone into the SFP Plus bay. I also have an SFP, a standard SFP bay for one gig SFP testing or link testing. And we've also gone into fiber optic mode on both units. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a link. This is an OM3 link. This is just a single segment, but you could have multiple connectors in here. And I'm going to just go ahead and connect to the SFPs. Take note of all the stuff that I haven't done. I'm not using reference cords. I don't have a loss budget. I don't have a set reference procedure, okay? A lot of freedom here. What I'm doing is simply moving data over this fiber link from SFP through the fiber to the other SFP through whatever connections I have, multiple segments if necessary, and I'm looking to move 10 gig worth of data. So I'm gonna go to cable test here, go to cable type. I'm gonna grab an OM3 10 gig version, and I'm gonna click set current type go to cable test and now I have a label ready to test let's go ahead and just hit test and we're up and running now we're counting bits across fiber one and we're looking for errors on uh, at the other end and we're counting all of those Okay, we've completed the test here. So what did we do during the BERT test? Well, we moved, uh, let's see, roughly 78 million bits of data over fiber one and fiber two. Um, of that 78 million, we have zero errors on fiber one and fiber two. So this is an exceptional cable, it's good. This cable, as well as the SFPs on either side, are good for 10 gig.